Hey guys! So today's video is going to be a redo on a video I did about two or three years ago, I guess, I think, two years ago, of a tag I did when I was doing vlogs from a hat. And if you've seen it, you'll realise that it was really awkward to like watch and my face was just like <laughs> the entire time. So I thought it'd be really cool if I redid it. And by really cool I mean I'm out of ideas for videos this week. Okay, so if you if I haven't explained what this is yet, anti-boyfriend tag, you can read, you can read the title, that's why you clicked on the video. What is the most important quality that you look for? I would have to say I don't feel awkward around them. So it's a very natural friendship connection. Connection? There you go. And I just don't have to. I don't feel like I need to impress them that much. <coughs> also make me laugh. But more feeling. Natural. What quality is a turn off? Being judgmental of others. There you go. Like, I get it if it's being in a funny way, but if you're like just being downright rude for no reason. What physical feature do you notice first? I'm gonna say it again. I notice eyes. Um, and or haircut and fashion sense. That's just what I look at straight away from a person just like got yeah, cool hair or something describe your dream date uh my dream date would probably be like no pressure at all uh to the situation so probably something like just meeting up and walking around somewhere chilling in a park that's that's it who would your celebrity boyfriend be Ryan Goslin, he's a good looking man. Just putting that out there. What is your relationship deal breaker? Cheating and being manipulative. Uh, or just not really liking the other person. It has to be like a thing where you both like each other otherwise. It's just, it's just stupid. What is your relationship deal maker? Just feeling really comfortable around a person, I guess. Um. Not, not feeling like you have to continuously be like doing something or feeling like you need to see each other all the time or something like that. I don't know. What are your eye and hair colour preferences? I personally don't have a, a preference as in <laughs> backwards bunny ears, a preference um, <clears throat> because those are just features on a person but um I would say I like rather dark eyes with blonde hair as like a overall thing just because that's always a thing I found very interesting because it's like such a contrast um, but other than that I'm just I don't mind shiny eyes like really I don't know what this is. Kind of eyes. Just like, that's cute. If he buys you a gift, what would it be? It would probably be something very small because I, I'd i freak out and be like, huh, no, mm, that looks expensive, I don't like it, no. And I probably just wouldn't know because I, I wouldn't expect anything. Would you say you have a type and if so, what? I wouldn't say I have a specific type. But I suppose liking music, I guess, um, having a passion for something, just because I find that really interesting and I kind of like loads of things, but if a person likes a specific thing and they're like, hey, this is what I really like and they can talk about it for hours and talk to me about it without making me feel like an idiot, I find that really amazing. Um, probably alternative interesting I don't want to say interesting because everyone's interesting in their own way but like likes music 
if they could play an instrument, that's cool. Um, that's really cool, because I can't play instruments. I can, like, sort of sing, but that's it. Okay, so that's the end of that. I feel like this is a lot less awkward than it was last time, because I wasn't like, eh, nye. Um, I actually thought about it. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, that's it. If you don't want to subscribe, don't. But if you do, cool. If you enjoyed the video, like it. If you didn't, leave it. Don't worry about it. Um, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. I'll see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>